All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and start from the feed. Uh, to be able to create a blog post on BeatStars, it's going to be located under My Media in the Pro Page Setup section of your account. So blogs are a premium feature on BeatStars. Um, they're directly connected to your Pro Page. That's the only place where you can publish them. So you'll need to have a Pro Page account to be able to create a blog post. Go ahead and click on this Blog Post tab. And this will be where all your blog posts kind of live. Um, you can go ahead and create a new one by pressing this plus button here. Okay, now we are in the blog post metadata editor. Um, let's just kind of go through this like piece by piece and like step by step in all of these sections. So first off, you need a title. Um, you know, titling is a really key part, not just for like SEO, but also for, you know, attracting people to be able to click on your, your blog post. Um, you know, having something catch that people will be interested in and want to learn more about. So could you talk to us a little bit about that, Allison? Like what are some strategies for titling uh, that you've kind of learned um, over your time as uh, a, a blogger, I guess? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, so just to reiterate like what Jamil said, um, your header or your titling, um, your blog subject line, those are all really important Um parts of SEO and kind of getting more traction to your site, especially organic traction. And so um, I know for myself, whenever I'm uh, writing something for the BeatStars blog, um, I try my hardest to make sure that titling is good, um, that there's, you know, like a character limit in a sense, um, and that it's clear and concise. That way people know exactly what they'll be reading. Um, so I know like just based on my own research and things that I've seen um, with our own blog and our own success. Um, a lot of people really like numbers, like for example, five tips on, um, on music production or um, check out like these five different um, like softwares that you can use for production. Um, Something like clear and concise like that is great. And people know that it's probably not gonna be a super long read, like an editorial. Um, so I try to kind of go towards those blog titles whenever I do my own writing. Um, but like I said, if you just create a title that is clear and concise, then that will do the trick as well. Um, something um, that I really like utilizing as well um, are like blog topic, or sorry, blog title generators. So if you just Google, blog title generator. Um, there are an abundance of tools that can kind of help you out with creating the perfect title for your blog topic. Um, so yeah, that's kind of there. Cool. Let's just, let's just choose one and let's just, you know, kind of create a blog post right now. So yeah. what do we want this one to be about? Um, let's see, let's do like top three music production tips. We'll keep it super like generic and general um, okay. and kind of go off of that. Top three music production tips. Oops. Would cool. you, uh, just, just out of your kind of research, Alison, um, when it comes to the number, obviously the, the content that you have, you want to keep it, well, it depends obviously what you're, what you're talking about, but is there, is there like a specific number that works better than the other? So say like you're offering five tips or three tips or four tips, is there like, or is it just like a range that does quite yeah. well in general? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, no, I've never really seen like there needing to be a specific range. Um, I think if you kind of keep it in certain increments of like five or 10 or, you know 50 then that would do the trick um obviously it'd be a little weird if you're like top 16 like yeah. music production tips but um yeah we guys about to make a top 600 uh, <laughs> <list>. <laughs> yeah when you go into larger numbers um you know just be mindful that you know about your own time and creating all of those tips and other people's time as well um yeah. A lot of people tend to enter a page and then kind of scan an article and then, um, you know, from there read what they want to or what they can. So, yeah, I would kind of experiment with that, honestly, um, and kind of see like what number, um, you know, tends to, to fit better for your own blog. 